So good morning everybody and happy Wednesday. So thank you for tuning in, anybody that's watching. I know it'll probably take a couple of seconds for people to get a notification that we're going live. So anybody that is watching, um, maybe comment below and let us know that you're watching, let us know where you're watching from. I was gassed last night. I was actually going through all the comments from yesterday morning. I was replying to them and we had people from Romania, from Glasgow, from, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Sam Puel or whatever far away anyway, um, all parts of Ireland, Northern Ireland, the UK, etc. So it's great to see where people are watching from. Um, just, look, just for ourselves, we know obviously that we're getting the word out there. The other thing um, yesterday, I noticed that over 39 people shared the post. So that was quite good. Would have preferred it to be a little bit higher. So again, we're asking anybody that's tuning in, please click the share button. And um, it's, as I said, it's more to get our interaction going on social media because that's what helps us with Google and with our SEO and when people are trying to find the website. So we'd really, really appreciate it. All you have to do is click share. It's in the bottom right hand corner. And then what will happen also is that will automatically go onto your page. So if you need to look back later on to just re-watch the demonstration that I'm going to do this morning, you will be able to watch it. So this morning we're going to do a very, very simple phone-free Valentine's Day arrangement. That's the plan anyway, if I kind of get going. So if we have anybody watching, dear, what's yeah, happening? Yeah, a good few people watching. Catherine Kay is watching. Hey, Matt. Jessica hey, Donner you. is watching. Margaret Reynolds is watching. Nicol Nicola, um, can't pronounce her surname, but she says hi. Hope hey, you're Nicola. all keeping well. You? Uh, and happy new year she hasn't been on for a while has anyone started clicking share yet Deirdre because I'm not I can't see yes I can't see yes uh, yet <laughs> but we're getting so a few anybody likes. that's watching start clicking share give us a few likes a few little love hearts and start sharing the love uh, Nick Nula is on from County Troll hi Nula how are you so what's the weather like around the country this morning it's just oh, actually they're telling us the weather before you even tell you <laughs> are they telling us already are they <laughs> well it's dull in dublin anyway that's the it's dull the ground is is wet but it's definitely not raining and i was up at um i was up early this morning because i went to the gym this morning so i was up at 20 past five and there was no rain in dublin at that stage but the ground was wet i have to say but um, it's actually warm, you know, that way um, you wouldn't need the heating on like first thing this morning. The house was actually warm when I woke up. So it's a warm day and um, it's dull. It's kind of a little bit dark out. But has everybody noticed there's a massive stretch in the evenings? I sound like the culties, isn't it? Massive stretch in the evenings. But you can definitely see like, um, like we were leaving work yesterday at about 10 to 5 and it was still bright. Where normally before Christmas, like when we be leaving at that stage, it'd be nearly pitch dark out anyway. So let us know what the weather is like around the country in case we want to go up to Tyrone or we want to go over to Romania. Okay, let's see who we have. We have, it's a foggy morning in Kildare. All right. Lynn from, I think she's Derry as well. Is she Lynn McBennett? Lynn McBennett, yeah. She's up that direction anyway. Yeah, she's tuning in. Gosh, they're all from the north this morning. Joe Muldrew is getting if in. The northerners are all up early, aren't they? They must have been all kicked out of the bed this morning. Uh, Joan is saying she's not getting the lives on the computer. Don't know. Clue, I don't know. <laughs> Just um, so anybody that's watching on their phone, um, if you kind of click the screen and if you turn your phone sideways, you'll find that you get a bigger screen. You know, if you're kind of finding that's kind of quite small on your camera if you're trying to watch it. So Margaret Mitchell is tuning screen. in. Good and morning, Margaret. How are you? We haven't talked to you in ages. How's life down in County Sligo? And Deirdre Pike says she's loving your hairband. It's matching oh, your red hairband today. Red apron. I'm feeling the red vibes today. So we're ready to start, yep. are we? Okay, so a simple arrangement, like I'm saying Valentine's Day because we're using red roses, but to be honest, like you could easily turn this into a table center for a wedding. So if you just substitute it for white roses or maybe even for Mother's Day, and you don't even have to use roses. You could use like large carnations. You could use maybe some flowers out of the garden. Um, like one hydrangea would probably fit into this pot. This is just a ceramic glass container. And um, again, you will pick it up in most shops really. Like a flower shop would probably sell them. But something like this, I actually purchased this in Ikea and it was quite reasonable. You do find the glassware in, like, in Ikea is quite cheap. So a glass container, this one is quite small. I did have a larger one, just couldn't put my hand on it this morning. So I said, right, I want to get started so that I get this finished before the students arrive. So I says, I'll work with the smaller one. So you need some sellotape. Oh no, before I start, I need some of the 
crystal earth or swell gel as people call it. Um, you buy this in a sachet, you mix it with water and it swells up and it's basically like jelly. Um, the best way I could describe it, it's nearly like what's inside a baby's nappy. So you know when a baby pees in the nappy and all this jelly stuff swells up. Well that's basically what that is, only I've used water, I haven't used pee to do that. So then we're going to get a little piece of sellotape and I'm going to bring it across the centre of the glass container. So I've just went across the centre and what I'm going to do now is pinch the sellotape together so that it's real narrow because I don't actually need it to be sticky. So I'm just pinching it really narrow. I'm turning the glass container sideways, just messed up the sellotape there, and I'm now going to do um, two rows of sellotape going the opposite direction. So again, I'm going to have one here. So I'm kind of making a grid so I have six, um, six little boxes or six little squares left. So I brought two pieces of sellotape across the opposite direction. And what I'm going to do now again is pinch in the sellotape there just to make it narrow. So it's a bit like X's and O's, but I know with X's and O's you have nine boxes. So I've only got six boxes. I'm going to turn on its side. Can you see that, Deirdre? Yeah. Is it okay to see? So you can see there, there's the six boxes. With the larger container, it's possible to do the nine, and I find that it's more balanced, and it looks much nicer in the cube. But unfortunately, I haven't got the right container this morning, so that's what I'm going to have to stick with. Any questions so far? Um, no oh, questions. Right. I'm still talking about the weather, and it's lovely up in Port of Dam, County Down. It's What's it like down Ferry. in Sligo, Margaret? Is it raining down there, or windy, or frosty? What I have is a couple of little sprigs of jib, and you could substitute this for foliage. So what I'm doing is I'm just inserting the little bits of jib in between the grid into the six little boxes or the six little squares and just letting it bounce over the top of the container. Now what will be nice for this is a little bit of ivy. So anybody that has, say, wild ivy in their own garden, that would work out perfect for doing this or even little pieces of eucalyptus. And if you're a little bit scarce on the jib, you could put less in, it's not necessary to fill all the squares. So you can see there just to leave it bouncing over the top. Now again, if you were doing something like even cheaper than what I'm doing today, you could just leave it like that. And you could mix a bit of foliage and mix a bit of jib. And again, it just would look nice. The swell gel, if like people ask, is a reusable. What I normally do is I put it into a sieve. You might call it um, colander. a colander or a, like a pasta drainer and just run fresh water over it and swish it around with your fingers and you will find you'll get one or two more goes out of it it's just to wash the bacteria off it i normally mix mix a bit of bleach in the water when i'm rinsing it through but you will find then after about the third or the fourth time it'll start to go slushy and mashy you know what i mean and it's not as good so again to save time i do have my six roses already kind of cut to the size so when you're doing it at home yourself, just measure your rows. You know what I mean? That's just going to come up over the top of the container. So in between the jib, down into the little grid there, I'm just going to insert the six roses. Now, as I said, nine roses would work out much more even for this arrangement. But it still, it'll look quite, well, hopefully it'll look quite well with the six. I'm saying it's going to look well with the six. But should Jamie Mac, I don't know. Might turn out off looking. So there we go. There's our six little rows, well, five in so far. Turn that around there just so you can see it. And there's our sixth one and I'm just going to wiggle a little bit of the jip in and out through that just so that we can see it. So you can see like if you wanted to use the foliage, the foliage would be beautiful coming through that as well. So the swell gel will have, um, there's water in that and you can see all the stems are submerged like down into the swell gel. So what you can do is you can add a little bit more water to that. Don't add too much water or you kind of lose the effect of the swell gel. But you can just keep it topped up and it's just a simple, very, very simple, like no foam. So anybody that wants to do a foam free, environmentally free arrangement, um, probably long term swell gel is probably not. But you can reuse it. But you can reuse it, so it's fine. And also your glass container is reusable. And you can try this with other types of containers as well. So tomorrow I'm going to tune in again and I'm going to do another simple Valentine arrangement. I think I'm going to do a hat box arrangement tomorrow. So but what I'm, I'm not going to come on and do hat box arrangements unless people start sharing my posts, okay? <laughs> and I fair play to Anne-Marie Steele up the north. You can always depend on the northerners, can't you, Deirdre? Oh, that's Anne -Marie it. Anne-Marie Steele always put a lovely in. post up yesterday ranting to you all <laughs> that it was so many of you watched it and only very few of you at that stage had actually shared it. But her little rant must have worked because um, I see this morning was up to 39 shares yeah. I think yesterday morning it's dull and um, Trisha Nealon says it's dull and Sligo um, dull and Sligo not the arrangements meant oh meant oh she she obviously said it's dull but she meant to do it's dull and Sligo not that the arrangement is dull <laughs> oh, <thanks for> <laughs> uh, Margaret Ford is on saying good morning Stephen O'Hagan is saying he's listening on in work 
Get back Stephen, to work. you get back to work. Jamie, Mac, your boss is paying you and don't be dossing. <laughs> get in and serve them customers. Uh, Margaret, Mitchin is on saying it's lovely as well. So yeah, no, it's very simple, easy. Very, very simple, easy enough arrangement. Now, I did get a lot of the envelopes. My God, this must have been on the ball there yesterday. When I went home, the post was in the hall and oh my God, I never seen the post this high. We never because, get posts. Yeah, because we don't really get posts. Most of our bookings come in online. The booking deposits are online, so we get very little posts. But the, um, the amount of stamped addressed envelopes, so don't send me any more stamped addressed envelopes because I know this is going to clear me out on the amount of books that I have, you know what I mean? So I'll definitely get them all in the post today. I know somebody messaged me yesterday wondering, did I get an envelope? And I had, but just, we have them there to post, but it's just a matter of thinking of it and making the feckin' effort of walking down the stairs and going to the post box to stick them in, you know, that way. A couple of people were messaging about the black boxes that I used yesterday for the single rows. I'm just going to grab them just to show you. Just when you're there, Marie Lithgo said she's sharing in West Cork. Ah, fair play to you, Marie. Thanks a million. Some of these are so good and you are so supportive. But some of these are stingy little feckers and you just won't share the post. <laughs> so these are the little boxes for doing the single roses. You can see like they're lined in satin and I have the black ribbon. So I did demonstrate yesterday morning how to use them. So if you, it, it was pinned to the top of the page, but probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this post to the top of the page so it is going to move down. So again, if you want to find it yourself, the best thing to do is that when you do share it, as well as helping me, you're helping yourself because you'll be able to find the post. But I do have these boxes for sale, but I'm not posting them. A couple of people asked me about posting them. As I explained yesterday morning, um, they're too awkward to post. It'll cost me more to package them up and put stamps on them and the hassle of going to the post office, we literally don't have the time. And it's not like I can just go to the post box and stick this in the post box, it won't fit in. So I'm gonna to have to go to the post office and queue up, I'm not doing it. If you have anybody in Dublin getting to call in, they can collect them off us, two euros, what's that I think yeah. you were? As I said, the reason I'm selling them off, I just want to get rid of them, they're taking up too much space. And um, what happened was I ordered a one by 12 and a 12 by 12 came in, it should start wearing my glasses, so it's blind as a bat. So I ended up with loads of these uh, boxes and just to take up a lot of space, I just want to get rid of them. So anybody that wants one of these single rose boxes, call into the school to collect them, two euros. I'm not posting them. It's just, it's too much hassle. It's not even the packaging. I just don't want to have to go around the post office and queue up to do it. So I'm being lazy. Suzanne Craig says she's loving your headband. Joanne oh, O'Donnell said simple, beautiful and like to share it in Donegal. Uh, fair play to you. Thanks a um, Just, um, there's been a good few inquiries because I have been posting about the arches. Yeah. It's part of module four. People are asking what, where. And you know, my future just... daughter in law is talking about getting an arch as well. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to get the arch frame abroad. <laughs> So yeah, arches are like, you know what I mean? They are so popular and they're still on trend. They've been around for the last few years and it looks like they're around for still a long time to go. So you can do the arch course as part of the module four. So anybody that's booked onto module four, we cover the arch. We actually make up a freestanding arch here at the school and we explain how to do it in artificial. And then all the students get a free access to the moon gate, you know that way, because the moon gate is made exactly the same as the arch, just that the arch is uh, seven foot in height that way, where the moon gate is seven foot like diameter all round. So they're basically they're made the same. It's the measurements, the mechanics, the techniques, slightly different. But um, you all our students that attend module four get a link to the moon gate course anyway for free. And I think like that's two hundred euros. I think it is for two fifty. Yeah. So like they get that as part of the course. But another option is you can obviously when you do module four, you don't bring an arch home with you. But if somebody would like to bring the arch home with them, and, and when I say bringing home the arch, like it's the frame of the arch, because obviously the frame is reusable, we don't use any foam, and it means that you have it all, you have it there for future weddings. So you can book a, what we call a one-to-one -one arch workshop. It works out at 800 euros, but you get, 850, sorry, and, but you do get a 25% grant of skill nets. So the idea is that you book a one-to-one -one workshop at a time and a date that suits you. You're more than welcome to bring along your staff with you and get them trained in as well. And that doesn't cost anything. So if, say, there was two people thinking of maybe doing the art course, it's probably cheaper for them to go together and actually do a one-to-one -one between them. They get the 25% grant, plus they get the arch. Now, they'll have to fight over the arch, but there's obviously only going to be one arch. But like that is an option. The best thing to do is email me if you need more, um, if you need more information on how to apply for the grant. Um, it's so more common, I suppose, for the shops 
to come and bring their staff. Yeah, we definitely like, we get a lot of shops do that because if they have two or three staff, they can bring along the two or three staff. Everybody takes part in making the art. They bring the art back to the shop. They can use it for display in the shop for the next two or three days. Sometimes people organise their workshop maybe a day or two before they have a wedding fair and then they can use the art as a prop, you know, that way at the wedding fair. So it works out very reasonable that way and also then when you get the grant, you know, that way it brings the price down considerably. And the other members of staff that you bring with them, with, bring with you, like they're obviously not being charged, so you're getting them all trained in for free. As part of all the courses, you get detailed handouts on the mechanics of everything, exactly how we use it, the sizes, um, how to make the frame even though the girls do the one-to-one -one workshop they bring the art frame home with them and um, the quantity of flowers to use the cost prices the selling prices and with all our courses we offer full backup support so maybe in the future you get a query about doing an arch in I'm saying dandelions nobody would be asked to do an arch in dandelions but like if you had any queries any problems and um, you weren't sure about the quantity of flowers or the cost of something or what to charge somebody once you're a student of K's you're always a student of K's so you have full backup Oh, I don't forget, um, Glenda. Oh, did she win? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. I didn't know that. Oh, great. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> so, the night before, we had the Irish Wedding Awards, and um, one of our students, John from Cavan, and he won it for, what, what kind of one? Ulster. Ulster. He won the Ulster one. So, last night, we had the Northern Ireland um, Wedding Awards, and one of our students who was up for nomination, Glenda from Lavender Lane, Florist, um, up around Newry, I think she is, yeah. I'm not 100% sure, um, like Glenda trained with us, oh... 10, 12, 15 years ago, a long, long time ago. I remember her so well, she was, cause she was a tiny little thing. And I remember her husband saying, or she telling me that her husband was going to make her counter, obviously to facilitate her. At the time she had a real tall girl working for her. And in the meantime then, she's had a couple of other staff. Tanya is one of them, can't remember what the other girl's name was. And they both came to us for training as well. So I'm only actually hearing that this morning. So they won the Northern Ireland Wedding Florist of the Year. So congratulations, Glenda, if you're watching. Absolutely delighted. I'll put up the link um, for her page in the comments later on. And anybody that wants to go over and congratulate her. So that's brilliant. So it's brilliant, isn't it's it? Great success. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's great when we have see all our own students. Like the amount of our students that were nominated for the awards was just amazing. Joan is in Lorgan. Lorgan, thanks a million, Joan, because I think Joan actually did a bit of work placement with her yeah. at some stage. That's brilliant. So I'm delighted. Over the moon here, all excited. Um, Mary Hamlin's just asked if we do turntables for sale. We do. Turntables are on the website, so go to the web shop. If you're in Dublin, you can come and collect them because obviously you don't pay yeah. the postage. Postage, postage is, is quite expensive on them because they're heavy, like they're ton weight. They're really, really solid. They come apart, you know, that way. Don't know how many kilos is in them, but um, like I think it costs something like 15 euros to post them. So it'd be obviously much cheaper if you do have somebody in Dublin that can call and collect them, um, I think it's 35, 35 euros. Euro, 35 yeah. euros, call into the school and collect them. But the postage is 47. 12 and 15 euros. So 47 euros if we have to post it out to you. It's just the postage is so expensive on them. Um, just give us a ring before you call just to make sure that we're here. And I know over Christmas I had a couple of people call over to the house to get the turntables. They were getting them as Christmas presents. Well, we better go and get go. this place set out and um, get organised for the students arriving today. Today, the students were on module two, we're on day three. I was only saying to do it just this morning, such a bloody slow week. Anybody else finding it a slow week? I thought, like, I actually thought tomorrow, like, should be Friday. Can't believe tomorrow's only Thursday. It just seems to be a slow week and a slow, slow month. Like, you know, I mean, we're only on, what, the 23rd of January, so we still have another good week of this month to go. Can't believe it. So um, it's really dragging, don't know what's, what's wrong. It's a really slow, slow month. So anybody, um, I say for today's class, they're all going to be making funeral sprays, coffin sprays, showing how they can be turned into unity candles, pew end arrangements, um, lectern arrangements, uh, like basket arrangements. It's kind of a style that they're learning. I call it the horizontal style. And to the students, I always call it the matching, the hatching, and the dispatching arrangement. So it basically does all occasions, your weddings, your funerals, and your babies. Matching, hatching, and dispatching. Just one Mary wants yeah. to know, where's our shop? We don't have a shop, so we don't have a shop at all. We're just, when I say we're just, but we are a training school, so we don't have a shop. There is a flower shop. That's the girl that asked about the turntable. Oh, okay. So. There is a flower shop underneath us called Case Florist. It's not connected to us, but over 30 years ago, 35, 36 years ago, our mom Kay, she would have originally opened the flower shop in Rialto on the South Circular Road, and it was called Case Florist. Then she opened up, obviously, Case Flower School. And the shop was sold and has since changed ownership two or 
or three times, but they've still kept on the name Case Florist. Linda is the girl who runs We're the on South Circular Road. On South Circular Road, beside St. James Hospital. So if you're collecting the turntables, you're actually collecting them from the school. And we're just upstairs over the flare shop. We're a pink door in Rialto. But as I said, just give us a ring beforehand. I can give you directions. Pamela Dillon just popped on. Morning, ladies. Back to back to the glitz and glam of shop work after the board. I know. And fair play to you, Pamela. Pamela was nominated. Pamela's down in Cork. Absolute flares is her flare shop. If you want to stick up the tag there, Pamela, and maybe some of the girls might pop over, give your page a like. Because it's interaction on your pages is what gets the Facebook pages out there for your customers. So anybody that's watching, when Pamela puts up the link to her flare shop, please go over, give her a little, give her page um, a follow, and maybe just pop in and maybe congratulate her because she was one of the flowers um, that was nominated for the awards. Unfortunately, she didn't win it, but like she, but she was win. nominated. She though, was like nominated. Like to get nominated out of all the flowers in Ireland, absolutely amazing. And I think Pamela might have come to us years and years and years ago. Or her Not mother sure. did, I think. I think it was her mother, was it? That's what it was. Yeah. Not sure. Correct us there, Pamela, if I'm wrong. But um, congratulations, Pamela. Absolutely delighted. Pamela got engaged over Christmas as That's well. That's right, yeah. So Pamela has a new sparkly ring on there, and we'd be watching out for all the wedding plans and the wedding flowers. And she might get invited down to Cork. Do you remember the last time yeah. we went down to Cork? <laughs> you never know, Pamela. We might pop down to Cork there to see what's going on. <laughs> Okay, okay we better go. Yeah. Listen, thanks a million everybody for joining in and um, we'll see us throughout the day. We'll be posting the photographs of what the students have made. Any questions, comment below. I'll get in this evening and I'll answer all your questions. I'll reply to all your comments and thanks a million. And remember, click share. Everybody go and click share there now when you're watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.